everyone, it's Sarah. And uh, as you can see by the title, we are going to build a eight step sequencer. Um, this is gonna be a tutorial uh, done in separate parts. Today we're gonna to be building the clock circuit for it. Um, <clears throat> uh, yesterday I went online on YouTube and checked to see if anybody has done a tutorial um, how to build a sequencer from start to finish. Uh, in working form, and I didn't find one, so I thought I'd do one. And uh, this is this is going to be um, as bare bones and simple as as can be. Um, there are things that I'm going to skip over that some of you are going to notice, and I just want to say in advance, this is I'm just doing the simplest form for people to get them going because I know a lot of people um, want to learn how to build a sequencer, and uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're gonna just start by connecting pin two to pin six. And connect a wire to pin four to pin eight. And again, this is a triple five timer we're using. And by the way, the triple five timer is uh, static sensitive. Um, I actually ended up zapping a uh, one of mine because I brought it up uh, from the basement uh, after walking across the carpet and up the stairs and uh, so they're very static sensitive if you're gonna move it I suggest you put it in some kind of a container uh, and and transport it in that way so you don't have any problems okay so we've just connected pins 4 to pin 8 we're gonna connect a pin uh, a wire from pin 8 to the positive rail and we're going to take a 10k resistor and connect that to, from pin 7 to the positive rail and I've got a 100k potentiometer here I think of this as pin 1, 2, and 3 from left to right I'm just going to plug it in there and I'm going to take a let's see we'll go with a 1k resistor and we're going to plug that into ground over to here and then we're going to take our LED the long lead is positive short is ground we're going to plug the ground into the 1k resistor and from the positive lead of the LED, we are going to connect that to pin three of the 555 timer. Pin three is our output, our clock output, and the LED serves as a tempo indicator. And now we're gonna connect a, a wire from pin one of the triple five to ground. And before we forget, um, we'll copy the, uh, this ground rail over here to the other ground rail so that those are interconnected. Okay, just like that. And we're gonna take a 10 microfarad capacitor. Um, this is the positive, or excuse me, the negative. This is the positive. We're gonna connect the negative to the ground rail and the positive goes to pin two of our triple five. So pin two to ground on our 10 microfarad capacitor. Okay. And next we're gonna take a wire and I'm just gonna trim this a little bit so you can see. So again, we have pins, pin, let's see if we want that, pin one, two, and three on the potentiometer. We're gonna connect a wire from pin one to pin two. And we'll just give that a push so that stays in. Okay. And from pin one, of the potentiometer, we're gonna connect that to pin seven over here. Okay. And from pin three of the potentiometer, 
And again, I'm going to tilt that so you can see. Pin three. We're going to connect that to pin six on the IC. Like that. All right. So now we can test our circuit. It looks like we're all done. Okay, so you see that it's working. Your LED should be blinking. You can vary the rate, of course, with your potentiometer. It'll go faster as you turn it clockwise. It actually gets going very fast. You just can't see it as very well on camera. Okay, so here's, uh, so this is the first uh, uh, step in our process of building a eight-step sequencer. I hope you're uh, able to follow along okay. If not, uh, just watch the tutorial again and go slowly. Take your time and uh, double-check everything. And um, I will be back soon with uh, our next installment. Um, oh, and I should remind you, if, uh, if you haven't already, uh, you want, might want to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so that you'll be notified when the next parts do come. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.